Hello YouTube, Total Henry here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys my Naruto fan art. I didn't draw this, this is something I printed out from the internet, just letting you guys know, because I get asked about that. And I'm going to warn you that this is kind of a long video, just because I have a lot of fan art, just because I love Naruto a lot. This is some tracing that I did of Naruto, this is tracing paper, I thought I'd show it. Um, I didn't really count it as art, just because... I'm copying it. Um, I don't want to say it doesn't count as art, but it doesn't take, like, skill, I guess I could say. It doesn't take that much skill. Um, so I'm not, not really talking about it because at least I find it's hard to get tracing wrong. This is one I, I do kind of like because it's sort of of um, the landscape of the Naruto universe. A lot of details there. Um, this is something I'd love to draw, like, freehand. And then this is the last sort of trace one. This is Sasuke with his curse mark. And I actually think this one looks pretty cool. But again, I traced it, so I can't really take credit for that. Okay, so I'm going to go in reverse order here, starting with the older stuff, and then it'll get progressively better. Um, this stuff isn't isn't too bad. Naruto, Toby, or Madara, and I. And then that's uh, Senketsu? I, I don't remember his name, but he's the water sword guy that hung out with Sasuke for a little while. Naruto's hair looks way too spiky here, and nothing there really stands out. This is a drawing I did of Jiraiya. His hands look a little too small, and I think I messed up on his eyes, but other than that, maybe his head is a little too big and too square. Next one... Just a picture of Naruto, and as you can see, his hand is way too small. I copied this from the back of a book somewhere. His head is too big, his hand is too small, so it's not, not that good. Okay, this is kind of an abstract one I did. I, I do kind of like this one. I love drawing the eye of the Sharingan, then I was just drew some cool swirly patterns around it. So I, I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. Then this was a sort of Naruto-themed character, but it wasn't really meant to be Kakashi. This was probably a doodle I did during class. And I just sort of drew, like, a character that might look like he existed in the Naruto universe, but it's not really based on anybody. Maybe Kakashi, but that's about it. Um, I mean, like, look at the arms. This was a long time ago. I thought that was, like, really muscular, but it just looks deformed and stuff. Okay, this one I kind of like. I think I tr tried to submit this for a fan art, for like a Shunjum fan art thing. Um, shows the entire Team 7 with Sasuke. This was on the um, volume 27. I forget where I found these other images. Sakura looks kind of weird here. But Naruto and Kakashi, I think, came out really, really nicely. Um, so yeah, I like this, this one a lot. Maybe Sasuke's head is a little too big or his arms are too small. But other than that, I like it a lot. I think this is a, or I think this was from a title illustration, like in, at the start of one of the chapters. Um, yeah, but this is Sasuke. I don't know, it's not that bad. His nose looks a little weird, and his knee right there is way too big. Um, huh, other than that, it's decent. This is was left like this because I think I planned to color it for a YouTube video, but I never got around to it. Um... I was trying different inking things with like a very thick line around the outside and little lines on the inside, but it's actually pr pretty good. I'm I'm happy with it. Maybe I'll go back and color it. This was a fun little thing. I feel like I showed this before. Um, Shonen Jump Race, and we have Luffy riding on top of Naruto. I think I did send this in for Shonen Jump fan art, but they didn't print it. I like Naruto's headband. I like the shading I did there that was kind of cool. These aren't like original poses, but it's like an original com composition. I added the two characters together. Oops. I dropped it. This is a picture of Sasuke after he learns the truth from uh, Toby or Madara, whatever you want to call him. And he's crying and they come up with a new team name that means Hawk. There's the Hawk. I had probably the most fun drawing the little hawk here. That was probably the most fun. Then Sasuke crying. That's always a hard thing to draw. 
Um, you can see this on my DeviantArt account. It's I'll put a link in the description so you can see like a full blown up version of it. This is the cover of the anime episode profiles from 38 to 80. I don't know why. I don't remember how I got it. I think someone gave it to me because it's not something I would buy and I just had to draw it. I do sort of like this for nostalgia purposes that like I attempted to draw the entire thing back then this was considered good for me but like look at his torso where is his torso like right here it's so skinny and it just looks weird and his ears in the middle of his head it looks very awkward this is Kankoro not much to say here kind of weird looking it's clear I didn't spend a lot of time on it a drawing of Naruto I probably did during school. Looks off, looks weird. With a crossed out drawing of Neji. I think that's ne Neji. So, not very good. What is this one? This one is Sasori. Kind of like this one a little bit more. Um, his face is a little too narrow. and I didn't really try to color in the black enough. and I don't know. It's not, not that good. And this one is... Okay, this is the cover of Volume 5. And like I said earlier, I sort of like this for nostalgia purposes just because I... It's a huge composition. I tried my best to draw all of it. There's not a lot of contrast in here. Um, I do sort of like it just because at the time this was really, really good. But I look at it now and I'm like, oh, this is disgusting. Um, here's a picture of father and son. This was probably something else I tried to do for um, a fan art piece. Naruto's nose right here looks really, really weird. And for Fulkage's head is just really square. It's not, not really that interesting of a piece. This is uh, Kakashi and his younger self. Looks very childish, like where's Kakashi's other arm? It's all blocky and I don't know. Okay, this is a picture of Sasuke from the back cover of the first Naruto uh, art book. If you can look closely, or for those of you who know the book, it was a uh, Shuriken behind Sasuke, and you can see I tried to draw it right there, but it just didn't work out, so I stopped. I really like that pose, and I don't even like, like this drawing, because it's like, look at that leg, look at the arm, everything just looks disproportionately skinny, and... Uh. Oh, well, I was doing the best I could at the time. This is a picture of Naruto crying after Jiraiya died. I like this, except for the fact that his hair is just abnormally spiky and extends all the way down here. Other than that, I think it's de decent. I think I captured the emotion pretty well. Here's a picture of Shikamaru. Looks, this looks like a quick sketch. I didn't spend that much time on it but look at this hand right here look at that look how weird that looks uh this is a picture of pain i don't remember which pain this was um but i drew a lot of um the pains just because i thought their designs are really cool i also found them kind of fun to draw here's a picture of naruto at the time, this was I thought this was pretty good, but his ears too small. This is too straight. I feel like. Other than that, it's okay. Um, yeah, here's another picture of Pain. This is the main one. I think there was a door in this panel, so I just like drew half of his face. I don't know. I just loved their design, so I had to keep drawing him, especially that one over and over again. And what do you know? Here he is again. This one. It's not bad, but just there's something off about it. Uh, the Deirdre, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. His head looks way too wide and fat. Um, yeah, other than that, I can't really see what's wrong with that. But I don't know, it just feels off. Here's a picture of Kakashi resting up in the hospital, reading his little... I even wrote the name of it, Make Out Tactics. Um, but his arm is skinny, his body looks weird. He doesn't even have a neck, he's just kind of hunched like that. And also his hair just looks 
too spiky. And you don't really get a sense that he's in a bed. I mean, those folds are kind of good. It's it's a start. Um, future Hokage, I don't know if you can see that. I thought it was interesting to draw Naruto. It's like young self and then future. I also don't know what's going on with his hair right there. Because Naruto never has hair that looks like this. So I don't really like, like this one that much. And then Kakazu and Hiden. Um, okay, his face is too circular. Um, doesn't have any lines down here for his torso. And as for Kakazu, I, I love drawing this character. I think he looks really, really cool. And I've drawn him a bunch, bunch more times. And I, I think I did a pretty good job on his face. Um, here is Pain. This is a pretty cool picture of him standing out in the rain. This was a title or chapter cover page. If this was darker, this would be actually, I think, really, really good. I do like this a lot, especially the rain on his hand. This was just a really great drawing by uh, Kishimoto, so if you can find it, it's one of, his, one of my favorite images from the series. Here's a picture of Sasuke. Not much going on there. Looks like Sasuke. As I said, more Akatsuki, more uh, Kakazu right there. This is the only time I've drawn Sasori in this puppet form. should probably do that more often because it's kind of cool. The tail's a little messed up. Then there's uh, Kasame, I think his name was. And I don't know who I was going to attempt to draw over there, but... Yeah, this is okay. Uh, oh, Jesus. Gara, drawn for pen in probably about two seconds. I'm not even going to attempt to explain to you why that's bad. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is Naruto. Just the torso of Naruto. He looks deformed and ugly. I promise you, there are better ones coming. The best sound ninja. Okay, I guess this was my idea of the coolest sound ninja characters drawn from the cover of the graphic novel. I believe it was volume 24. Um, yeah, his face looks too wide, um, she doesn't look like a girl, eh, just a lot of problems, just I guess on the width of the face. This is another thing I try to do for Shonen Jump, um, Hitsugai is pretty mad, but he doesn't even look like himself here, um, Naruto's ears are off, Naruto, there's a huge gap right there. His nose should be... Did he, even, did he even draw a nose? Okay, I did. So yeah, this is a pretty weird picture. This one's actually not not that bad. I actually kind of kind of like this one. His hair looks a little bit weird, but other than that, I think this one came out pretty nicely. I do like the shading. That's probably what I like the most out of this. Here's a picture of Naruto and Sasuke. Um, I remember liking this at the time. But they look a little bit too skinny, especially Sasuke's legs down here. Um, so yeah. Another picture of Kakashi in his sort of Ambu days. Uh, this one ne needs work. The proportions are alright, I think. His chin might be a little bit too pointy. Here's Pain again. Very fat Pain. Well, it's not, not that bad. Here's the debtor uh, again. I actually think this one is okay. It's not, not, it's not that bad. I wish I'd put a little more contrast and effort into it. But other than that, it's okay. Everyone's favorite uh, Uchiha. There's Monkey Sharingan. You can't even see the lines because of how dark it is. His head looks a little deformed. Sasuke, and I'm pretty sure I colored this wrong, so that was really disappointing, and his legs are super skinny, and his pants look rigid, and yeah, so this isn't a very good piece. Naruto, I feel like I was in a hurry when, when I did this. I colored it, but I chose not to color his skin, because he's white, and he doesn't need to have skin color, apparently. Um... Yeah, so that hand down there is way too small. 
and his uh, body is way too small for his head. Okay, this one I think I did without any any reference. The Rasengan pose, and yeah, this really is bad. Okay, here's an X'd out picture of Sasuke, and I realized I drew this on the back. This one's actually not that bad. The clouds coming over his arm look a little weird right there. Other than that... Um... I don't know, maybe more contrast was needed? Other than that, this isn't... Well, the body is, looks a little weird. Especially the hand right there. That, that, his fingers look weird. But other, I think this has potential to start. Pain. I said I like drawing him. His eyes look a little bit weird. Kakazu, did I say I liked him? I liked him. He's a cool character. I This isn't like super amazing, but I think this looks a lot like the character. And then little red page. I like this one a lot. Little lantern of the ramen shop. What is that? Oh, this is uh, Kakazu's partner in his, um, I don't know what you would call it, state. Um, if you read Naruto, you would know what I'm talking about. Kakazu and Kakazu again. I just like this guy. I like drawing them. He's nowhere close to being my favorite character, but Naruto is stronger than you know. She probably doesn't sound, sound like that, but I don't know. I thought this was a cool moment right there. Um, sort of drew it directly from the page. This is how, what the page look, look like. Kinahamaru doing a Rasengan. His, this face right there looks a little bit off. Um, but other than that, this is, it's not that bad. Well, his arm right there looks huge and ginormous. And I could have added some more shading. I kind of like, like this one. Um, the hand, it doesn't look like that's Naruto's hand though, and his neck is really thin for his massive head. But I kind of like it. This pain again, this is a, a better version than last time. Some nice shading on the face. This one's actually pretty good. A bad uh, picture of the fox spirit. This is a picture of Kakashi, I think right before he died and then came back to life. Um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, what's this? Okay, this is a belief from the very from the very first volume. This is isn't that good. The Lego is really skinny and that one's too fat and his head's too big. It's on lined paper. Izumo can't even, I don't think you can see that. Oh well, it wasn't that great. There's a picture of Naruto, can you see that? Not really. Here's a picture of Hinata curled up into a ball. Doesn't look that great. And for some reason I only inked the sidewalk she was sitting on. Her eyes should be lower down on, on her face. I am proud of this one. This was a, a page I uh, copied. This is when Naruto shows up in, during the uh, fight with pain. And again, I decided to color everything but Naruto's skin because he was white. White people do not have white skin. But I, I do like this. Though I don't think his jacket and cape was the same orange as his pants. I could be wrong about that. But I think the color and choice was off. Naruto in Sage Mode with a really long face. Um, and we, the hair bugs me. I don't know why. But the face, that is what really makes it look weird. Here's a picture of Hinata. This one's kind of cute, except for the... Where, where is it? Messed up eye right there. Th this one's ki kind of nice. And then the feels, Naruto or Hinata, because I love you. 
Yeah, this one, it's, not, it's not, not that great. I feel like her head should be a little bit bigger, her hair should be more full bodied, and the veins of her eye don't really look like the Byakugan. And this was Nagato, I believe his name was, the sort of original paint. I like this one. I like the little shading on all the things sticking out of his arm. I think that came out nicely. Yeah, I actually, I like this one a lot. Here's a picture of Sasuke. This was from a bookmark I had that they released. I think it was also the cover of volume 38. I like the shading on the stomach and on, on his face. I think that came out nicely. Sasuke Uchiha. And now we're getting into some of the better stuff. The Deradera. This was also from a bookmark that they released. And this, this one isn't that bad. I like the darker shading on his jacket. Naruto, quick sketch, does not, uh, looks, he looks retarded in that one. Here's a picture of Danzo with his multiple Sharingan, Sasuke, and a, he has a very weird look. Toby, uh, this one's decent. Can't say anything too wrong with it besides Sasuke's face. We're near the end, Naruto. Doesn't really look like him. Here's a better drawing of Naruto. I like the shading on his hair. That came out nicely. This is from the cover of the second Naruto art book. What is this? Oh, I like this one a lot. It features a bunch of other characters. You can see... Whose hair is that at the top? That might be Light's hair. Light Yagami. Luffy. Goku or Gohan, Naruto, and then the logos for Death Note and One Piece. I actually li li like this one a lot. I should go back and like finish it and add shading. It, it could look really, really cool. This one I like. This one came, came out ni nicely. Um, the light, it's the Rasengan. The shading is from the Rasengan. It looks cool. I think maybe... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. It looks good. I like it. Oh, except for... Here's a mistake. That gray right there should probably be on the other side because if the light is, is coming that way, right up here, you would not get a shadow right, right there. But other than that, this is... I like this one. That one's probably the best one so, so far. Okay. Here I have a trio of pictures. And you can also see this on my DeviantArt account. See, I drew this picture. This was sort of the pencils. Right right here, Naruto from volume 26. Then I have the inked version. Here, I'll put these two side by side so you can sort of see and compare. The inked version, again, you can see these better on DeviantArt. Then I have a shading pencil version, which I like a lot. I think that came out really, really nicely. And if you compare it to the inked version, yeah, I like this one a lot. And then I drew a full color one, and I think I decided to make it black. So basically, I was working on this for a long, long time. So this is probably the best fan art thing I have, or, or, or this one. But I, I really like this a lot. Please check out my Deviant Art thing to see that closer if you want. And I ha only have a few more, I promise. Here's a really nice picture of Naruto of Copic markers. I like this one a lot. I think this one came out really, really nicely. With maybe the exception that his forehead emblem thing, it's too dark. But other than that, I like this one a lot. I didn't finish inking this one. I don't know why. This one's actually pretty good. Maybe I'll finish inking this. His head might be a little too round. But other than that, this is pretty good. And finally, a picture of Sasuke and Naruto after their reunion where Sasuke throws a kunai and it hits Naruto right there. I like the way the little drip came out. I think I drew this with a pen, so that's pretty impressive. I like Sasuke's face right there. They include the little bits of snow. And that is it. Sorry for the long video, but I had a lot of fan art I wanted to get through. To see another fan art video, just click the little red subscribe button down below, and you will be notified for all of my various videos. 
and thank you for watching.